my Sanji Bell with my fairy treasures. Okay, you guys, I'm back at it again with the jelly printing. And um, today I'm using a whole nother set of colors. So exciting. So I'm using brights. Before I used a lot of like more neutrals and natural um, colors. So I wanted to show you guys um, some techniques with using... Um, more like vibrant colors and specifically I'm using some dilutions and I still am using the same Dollar Tree um, placemats and doilies and some other stencils and stuff too so I added some stuff to the mix so I just want to kind of show you what we're going for some of the different things that I created and the thing I like is I really like not creating specific patterns as much as really cool textures just really beautiful outcomes like this to me this was like a, a page that I wiped a, a lot of stuff off of and I still like the way it came out look how it looks like it's like a, um, a tattered wall or door if you guys been watching my channel you guys know that I um, what did I do I used chalk chalk paint or milk paint chalk paint and did a distressed finish in my kitchen, on dressers, on a china cabinet. Um, so I like that distressed wall look. This is another piece that was just, um, I just used as a um, sheet that you just roll off, a roll off sheet. This is another roll off sheet, another roll off sheet. And these roll off sheets are great um, in collages for your backgrounds. So I love the roll off sheets. After I get enough color or enough design on them, I, um, I, I, you know, go on to a new one. Okay. These are all roll-off sheets. This is roll-off sheet with a little bit of a placemat on there. See the design? Okay, another roll-off sheet, which I love, and a little bit of design right there. I think this roll-off sheet just came out really cool. Doesn't that look cool? This is another roll-off sheet, and then I had a stencil, and then I threw some, um, it was a, not a stencil, it was a um, foam stamp, and I just threw some foam stamp on there. Here's another one. Now, here's what more design, which I love. I think this is the Dollar Tree placemat. Isn't that just the coolest texture ever? Love it. This is Dollar Tree placemat, half that, and half. Um, the Dollar Tree doily. Um, I think this was, I don't know what it was, but I love all the color on here. So ripped up, like look. If you were to rip this up and use this. I know you guys are like, damn, she just ripped that page. Like this, and you just rip that. Look how cool that looks. And put in a background, okay? So love that. So I'll just go through these really quick so you can see what we're going for. Okay. And this is the Daiso. This paper here is the Daiso um, calligraphy paper. This right here is tissue paper from Dollar Tree done on the shiny side, which I thought was kind of cool. Do a stencil. This right here is, um, just one second, let's see what the heck this is. Um, oh, the, um, the sheets, the um, painter sheets, you get on a small roll about this big at um, Home Depot. Um, that's what that is. Look how pretty that is. And if you go to my last video, I really go over different types of paper. So go to my last video and just listen at the beginning if you want to know about all different types of paper. I talk about that. This is a deli roll, which you get at, I get a big pack of it at Sam's Club. Yeah, deli roll paper. And it'll say like wax sheets. It's the same as deli roll paper. And Deli Roll, it's actually one of my favorite to work on. I like them all because it just, everything gives like a different thing. This is um, Robin McClendon. 
Is that how you say her name? Robin McClendon? Yeah. I'll try to put her link below. Love her. You guys have to go check her out. She does this thing called intuitive writing. And that's some intuitive writing with just some, like a wipe-off sheet. And we're going to get into that intuitive writing in other videos. Because I absolutely love it. I've created my own intuitive writing. Totally inspired by Robin McClendon. This is, I think, was a roll-off sheet. I'm not sure what that was, but I like how it looks. Okay, so you guys can see what we're going for. Uh, this is a bunch of pages I already used. Let me just, I'll show you this one. This is some type of brown type of paper. Um, some brown sketch paper that I got at uh, Hobby Lobby. So just always be looking for all types of paper. This is some music note paper, which I love this. This looks really like an old wall or an old piece of furniture. So what is that? This is one of my faves right here. This is a piece of lace. I think the whole thing is two different pieces of lace, I believe, which I love. Okay, and there we go, another old wall looking piece. Okay, so you can see what we're going for, the colors we're going for, techniques. Okay, let's get started. Let me throw that over here on the ground got my jelly plate and I like to work with a dirty jelly plate because this will be picked up and added to the whole thing so working with a dirty jelly plate is awesome my advice is always to leave your plate a little dirty because that will add to the next jelly printing session in a good way okay so let's go um let's start with some of my favorite colors we're going to do um, we're gonna, I'm gonna use some dilutions paints and then I'll use, use some also some craft paints. Um, I'm gonna use this. Which order do I want to do it in? Let's do orange first. So these are dilutions paints and I absolutely love them. And I try to do uh, thin layers so that I have, maybe have to go back a second or third time. You really build up layers, and that's the way things really turn out more beautiful, in my opinion. I learned that from uh, Rob McClendon, and she's so right about that, about doing it in layers. It turns out really pretty in layers. Now, to make my um, paints move, I was using this stuff, um, Floating Medium by Folk Art. But then I was watching, I can't think of who it was. I was watching this other girl and she used to make everything float better and to um, make her paint, paint float better, like, you know, roll out better and to make them a little more translucent. She used hand sanitizer. Do you know how much? This is a dollar at Dollar Tree. Way cheaper than this. This is $5 with a coupon. So excited about that. So let's see how that works. This will be the first time I've used it. But I seen her using it, it worked out perfect. So I was like, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be good. So, all right, and just squirted that stuff out. And I'll use this floating medium um, for other things that I need it for. So, and if you can always go cheaper, oh my gosh, go for it. If you can get the same results or better, go for it, for sure. Oh yeah, I can. I like already how it's blending. Out, how it's blending out. I'm trying to think of the girl who told me that. Darn it, I can't think of her name. Hopefully, it comes to me. Okay, and then. Oh, I like my sheet. Look how cool the sheet looks. Isn't that cool? Um. Let me show you guys something that I just created. This is something I just created as a gift for a friend that I'll be sending out. It's part of her gift. And I did it with the, um, my jelly printed sheets that are done in these type of colors, except I didn't use orange. But this is a manila, manila envelope that I made into like a pocket. And see all the papers in the background in that? gorgeous this is a Paris stencil that I have but that's how that looks so this is the flap and then here's this and then there's an opening there and we'll I'll go over how to make one of these one of these pocket folders and you make them out of uh, manila envelopes one of the manila envelopes is the one that has the gusset and then one of the regular ones 
Look how pretty that turned out. And look how gorgeous and how gorgeous my collaging looks because of the background papers I used for collaging, which is the papers we're making right now. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, all right. Let's get started. Oh, I like, I can tell I'm really going to like the um, sanitizer I use. It keeps your paint really nice and wet. It'll get you going on your plate a lot faster because sometimes your plate um, can dry out and then you have to kind of throw some more paint on top of it. I love this stamp. Isn't it gorgeous? This is, is a um, like a fabric stamp. I got it at Hobby Lobby. And somebody told me, they go, oh, I didn't know you could go to Hobby Lobby and get um, stamps like that. Well, you know what? Uh, I went there the other day. They don't have, they don't, they're not selling any more of these foam stamps or these ones. I was like, oh, because I was going to look at buying more of them. Hey, honey, I, I'm making a video. I'm making a video. My husband just got home. Okay. So, right on top of here, let's take, we'll do it on two of them. I always have book sheets right next to me to create that background paper. So, let's take the extra stuff off of here and put it in here whatever we can get hopefully you guys i'm in the frame so you guys can see me i like to do this and just keep adding to my little papers over here and let's take the big one bam Make sure you guys are still yeah that's what you get on these sheets see how cool okay so let's bring this back in frame we got some cool designs going on let's get some paper going this right here is a uh, calligraphy paper Asian I think it's Chinese yeah Chinese calligraphy paper that you get at Daiso for $1.50. So if you go to Daiso, pick up some uh, calligraphy paper. Oh, it's only $1.50. Whenever I get back to California, because I live in Vegas, um, I will definitely be picking up a lot of calligraphy paper. I have quite a bit, but I didn't know I was going to be using it on my jelly plate, so... And I don't live there, so when I go next time, Daiso better watch out because I'm going to buy a ton of it. Okay. Let's see what this did. Okay, I think I waited a little long. This is what we picked up on the first one. And this is the other thing. This happened last time, too. I waited a little long to pull this so it kind of, my plate kind of dried up, but also it takes like the first couple of tries to get your plate really going to get it really nice and wet. So what we can do to pick this all up nicely is use white. And it'll actually pick this up probably really, really pretty. Okay. Just a second. So it's kind of good when things like this happen because then you can, I can show you what to do. You know, when you're when you first start out jelly plating on your plate for the day, and if it actually it happens to dry out. I'm kind of putting a lot of white on here. Oh, that white just got all over my shirt. Oh, thank God I'm wearing my painty clothes. That's why I wear painty clothes. Because I can be a mess. Okay. 
So, let's go the opposite way of how we went. And I got a little overzealous when I was rubbing, and I kind of put a hole in my paper, but no major. I just put another hole. Okay, we got some color on there. We're going to let this dry, and we're going to go to a different piece of paper, because I think this paper is having a hard time picking things up because it's getting really, really wet. So let's try a tougher piece of paper. This right here is like the brown type of um, sketching paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. It'll be able to handle what we're doing. All right, we got a little bit. Let's 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 reload the plate and go again. Okay. Like I said, this happens sometimes when your plate is just getting started. So let's just reload. And this has happened quite, you know, it happens actually, I think about it every time. My first couple of pulls aren't as good. Let's get that going there. Get this going. And we'll mix that up. All right. And my plate has dried up pretty good because I haven't I haven't jelly printed for the last I haven't jelly printed for the last couple of days, so all right. All right, so let's do the same thing we just did. Because I know that once this takes, it's gonna make a really cool print. Go there. There we go. And there we go there. And then we'll do a little design here and a little design there. Okay, and then just rolling this mat down just to make sure it really gets the design into the paint. Okay. So now, oh, I have two pieces here. Let's use a different sheet. We'll use these two and we'll roll these off on there. Big one off. Oh, that looks cool. Look at my sheets. Like this sheet's done. Look how cool that looks. Love that. My waist sheets are turning out better than my main sheet so far. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Sure, you guys are there. Or what time we're looking at? Okay.
Oh, cool. This came out really cool. There we go. Look how cool that looks. Doesn't that look awesome? I love it. I'm not even doing another layer over this. I like the way this looks. If you like the way it looks, then don't put another layer over it. But if you don't, then, you know, redo it. But I like the way this looks. So we're going to keep that. And then... What else can we pick up from here? Let's see. We'll use the same type of sheet. I might even need it to throw some white on here to pick up this, but we'll see. We'll see how much it picks up. If it doesn't pick up a whole lot, we'll throw some white on white, white paint on here. Yeah, just picked up a little bit. So we definitely want to layer over this again. So let's throw some white on white down here. I want to throw, yeah, with the white. I was gonna throw, I don't think if I should throw white or if I should throw gold. But I'm thinking white. down again and see what we get. We got this again, and I'm not getting this up. I'm not really sure why not. Well, let's throw some more. Let's throw quite a bit of white paint on here. I don't know why we're not. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tr try something. I'm going to use this my old medium on here. Maybe. Um, my plate is not liking the hand sanitizer. I don't know. We're going to find out. Okay. Let's get this on here right away. Yeah, maybe it's not like it. my Santa, my uh, jelly plate is is um is is homemade. Um, if you want to make your own jelly plate, I probably made it. This was like I made this like God six years ago, but I used the Frugal Crafter and um, the Frugal Crafter. Um, everybody pretty much knows her. I I used her recipe. So um, if you want to make your own jelly plate, definitely go check her videos out so just look up a uh, frugal crafter and then put jelly plate and you'll see and i think she has a couple of different um a couple of different uh recipes mine was the glycerin the uh the clear plain jello and the hot water i think that's all that goes in it i didn't use the one with the alcohol and the glycerin um, keep, uh, keeps it so that it doesn't uh, start um, spoiling. All right, we got some cool stuff here. Very cool. Love this. Look at that. Love it. I love this blotchiness over here, how that turned out. Look how cool that looks. Oh. Love it. Okay, so I love that. So I'm not going back over that. Um, we want to pick up all of this that's left on the plate again, still. And I'm wondering if I should use... Let me use some gold on the plate to pick this up. Sorry. We 
we're gonna go back to the um, we're gonna go back to that hand sanitizer just to confirm if it's the hand sanitizer or not that's making my plate dried out, which is weird. But like I said, I have a homemade one, so maybe it works better with the ones that are um, that are bought. Um, maybe it works better with the ones that are bought, um, the name brand ones. I'm not really sure. We're going to find out. All right, let's see what happens with this. Oh, I like that. This uh, rub off right there. Um, let me take this white sheet. This right here is that calligraphy paper again from Daiso. Is this the calligraphy paper or is this the... Yeah, it's the calligraphy paper. I was thinking if it's the deli paper, but it's not. And I actually like the deli paper that more than I like the calligraphy paper. Hopefully I have some deli paper over here. I like the way, I like working with it for collage. But I like this too. I just like it, the deli paper even better. Oh yes, this came up really cool. Oh, this is pretty. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous. Love it. That'll be so pretty in a, um, and I love all the gold. That's going to be so pretty in a, um, in a collage background. All right, let's do some, some different colors. Let's do purple. Let's do turquoise. Let's do um, some magenta. Let's add some gold. Like that gold that I just, just a second. Sorry for the slamming in your ears. I'm sure that did not sound good. Okay. And then we'll use this again. It's like I'm afraid to use that hand sanitizer. <laughs> if that was what was... I, it was it, it was early in the process, so I don't know if that dried out my plate or if it was just that my plate was dried out. I need to be brave. The next one, I'm going to use that because I need to figure it out. And I need to figure it out so I can tell you guys. But I, I saw another girl use the hand sanitizer, and she uses it every time, and it works perfect for her. But I know I don't I know she doesn't have a handmade jelly plate, so. Oh, this is pretty. Let's roll this over this. Oh, I like that. That's pretty. I like how that page looks. We're going to let that go. Okay. We're going to do some different. Okay, let's do let's do the Dollar Tree doily. This is fabulous. I love the Dollar Tree doily. And we'll put this on top, this book page to get some some design through here and to Make sure the design gets really into the plate. Okay. And it just does that, which looks cool. Take that off. All right. Let's try a different piece of paper. I want to try some deli paper. Just a second. Do I have any deli paper here? All right, you know, I'm going to grab some deli paper in a second. I thought I had some here. I don't. All right, I'm going to try this music note paper. I love music note paper. You guys, this is another great one. It's old music note paper, too, vintage. 
I think it's vintage. I have a lot of music note paper. So whenever you go to thrift stores, always check in the book section. Um, and wherever else they would have the music note paper. And uh, you can get, usually get books of, mu of music note paper. It's not music note paper, it's music notebooks um, for like a dollar or two. So pick them up. Oh, cool. This looks cool. <gasps> Love it. Look how beautiful of design that makes. Is that gorgeous or what? Um, obsessed. I'm not sure what you guys are seeing. Isn't that just so pretty? Love it. So that turned out so gorgeous. We are not going back over that because I love it. Let me grab really quickly. Let me see what the time situation is. Oh, okay. Our video is probably going to cut off any second, you guys. I wasn't paying attention. Just go ahead and go to part two. But I'll keep rocking and rolling. But um, let me grab some deli paper really quickly over here. I'm going to move all my papers around. So if you guys want to see the box of deli paper, this is what the box of deli paper is. Okay, it looks just like this. And it says heavyweight premium dry wax paper. The deli part isn't to the side. So look for heavyweight premium dry wax papers. 500, it's member's mark. Okay. See, it's right here on the side, Interfo deli sheets. But it's not right on the front, so you'll get confused and you'll be like, okay, where do I get this deli paper from? And you'll keep passing it by when you're at um, Sam's Club, and it's right there. All right, I need to put something on here. What do I want to put on here? Do I want to do some white? Do I want to do some metallic? Let's do some metallic again. That was really pretty. This paint is really thick. I got it. Um, it's ceramic coat it's not that cheap of I me mean, it's not it's cheap it's craft paint so it's not that expensive but it's like a dollar it's like probably two bucks i got it for 